Alright ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be starting a C++ tutorial using, it's not a standard C++ tutorial, it's not even like, you know, a game development tutorial, it's an SDL tutorial. This SDL, if you don't know, is a simple direct media library, and the developers of SDL, I'm going to quote from my book that I learned, SDL, I'm focused on SDL, the creators of SDL really took simple to heart, it is really easy to use, it, it'll get you up and running really quickly having you create some awesome game applications. And it's just generally a great library. So first thing we're going to do is I need to drag this over here. And we're going to Google right here. I've got an SDL. And we've got SDL Googled. We're going to click on the first one, Simple Direct Media Layer. Come down here to download, download 1.2. We're going to come all the way down here to Visual C++ Developer. And you download that and extract it somewhere to your desktop. That's probably the best way to do it. So now that you got it, you've extracted it to your desktop. It's there, it's ready to go. I'm going to create a new project. And this will be an empty project. And we'll call it SDL tutorial and we've got that up first thing we're going to do is add a new item and it'll be our main.cpp this will be our main entry point of the program this will be where it all comes up and together and so first thing we're going to need to do is include include sdl.h and I screwed it up already and then we're going to do int main and argc comma char times args which isn't exactly what it means so there we go and then we're just going to return zero now we right now we can't include sdl.h we got to go to our project sdl tutorial properties and first go to our vc++ directories and we're going to go to our include directories and we're going to edit those and we're going to add one new include and we're going to go to wherever you decided to extract SDL pop up here SDL I have SDL Visual Studio and the MingW anyway so you're going to go to your include and there's nothing in the include folder so we just need to include the folder itself so select folder okay so we've got our include and now we need to install our live include our library so the live directory First thing you do is go back to the desktop, that's where mine's been extracted, scroll down to SDL, SDL Visual Studio, SDL, and Live. Now, here's the problem. It contains two folders, x64, x86. Since I'm 64-bit operating system, I'm going with x86. Select folder, OK, OK. And actually, I forgot something here. We're, for, uh, we're going to need two linkers. So, linker, input, up here, edit. And I'm just going to control V them in because I had them on my clipboard. So I tried to record this earlier. SDL.live, SDLmain.live. Sweet. So we have our linker set up. Now we need to go down here to system. One last step. And Windows subsystem. Okay. So as you can see, it takes quite a while for us to include everything that we need. And now we're going to hit F7 and build our program. And as you can see, nothing there. Nothing wrong, so I come out of here. Let me go to my documents. This is where the folder saved and Visual Studio 2010 and our projects SDL tutorial right here. Now we go to our debug, and if we try to run this, we're missing SDL.dll. We can fix that by going to the desktop, which I can't alt tab to. So I'm going to go to SDL, SDL Visual Studio, SDL do live x86 or whichever one you chose. And we just need this DLL right here. We can copy it. You can put this in your system folder, but I suggest putting it in the folder you're working with. And we're going to paste. And now we run it, and it runs. You don't see anything because the program doesn't do anything. It just starts and stops. It just returns zero. Okay. So now we can start coding. And I, as you can, as you're going to see later, I'm going to be entering. Um, I'll be running the program always from the folder. It's just something I like. To do. I, don't, I don't like to run the debugger and I drop something. Shh, don't tell them I happened. So SDL init. SDL init everything. Now, SDL has a lot of different cores and substructures. It has a timer core and shut up Facebook. And um, has a timer core, has a simple audio core, has a rendering core for like 2D images, getting them on the screen. Has your basic every core. And and so after you initialize something, you're gonna need to quit it. So SDL SDL quit at the end of our program. And just try not to have any typos. So now we uh debug build solution and bam we have it compiled come back over here and at 
still the same thing but we were able to initialize and quit SDL all at once so I figure this is a good start for a tutorial next time we'll get a screen up maybe blit a picture I'm not sure so thanks for watching good glad I could help you get SDL set up